Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see some methods of dropping the columns of our data frame. Now there are several methods to achieve this and we are going to see them one by one. So let's first of all import pandas as pd. Let's run it. Now let's create our data frame using a CSV file. So I'm again going to use the Bangalore CSV file that is about Bangalore house prices. So let's create df is equal to pd dot read csv and let's define the path so which is bangalore dot csv. Let's see the head so df dot head let's run it and I can see that this is my data frame. Now we can drop the columns using drop method so let me put the first topic as dropping using drop function right so in this we have to do df dot drop and inside it we have to define a list in which we can define the column names so let's say i want to drop the size column so let's copy it let's paste it inside this as a list element and we have to define the axis as one Remember that axis is equal to one is for columns, right? Now we can run it and we can see our data frame without the size column. I can see that size column is removed from my data frame. And you can use in place is equal to true if we want to, if you want to uh, make changes in your original data frame. But here I don't want to change my original data frame. That's why I'm not writing in place is equal to true. Now you can use this drop method for dropping multiple columns. Let's copy it and let's paste it over here and you can provide a comma and inside it you can provide more list element let's say i want to remove this location also so let's copy it let's paste it over here and let's run it i can see that size and location both are removed from my data frame now in the second method we can we have to use drop method only but we can use the column indexes for dropping our columns. So let me first show you the original data frame. So these are the original columns. Now I want to remove location and size. Now you have to see where, which is the index, what is the index of this location and size. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 I want to remove. So what I will do, df.drop, you have to provide df.columns and inside it you have to provide a list and you have to provide a list of the indexes. So I want to remove two and three. Now you can provide axis is equal to one. Let's run it and I can see that size and location are removed from my data frame. But I have not provided in place is equal to true. That's why, that's why my original data frame is not changed, right? I hope you are understanding it till now. Now in the third method, I want to use drop method, but with df.ilog. So let me put the topic as second was using drop with df dot columns and the third will be using drop with ilog. Perfect. Now let's write the function df dot drop and you have to write df.ilock, provide a list and you have to write what, what I want to remove. I want to remove the columns and the all the rows of that column should be removed. Let's say I want to remove availability. Now if I'm removing availability, I want to remove all the rows of this availability column, right? So in the ilock, my first parameter is for the rows and my second parameter is for the columns. So for the rows, I want to remove all the rows. That's why it will be single colon, right? And you have to provide a second parameter as your columns. So provide a comma and inside it, I want to remove, let me see the original data frame. So I want to remove location and size, right? So zero, one, two. So from two to four, because four will not be taken, right? As you know, in Python, if you are defining an index, then index just before it will be considered. So location and size will be considered if I write from two to four, right? So two and three will be considered, not this four. 
I hope you are understanding. Now you have to provide the axis is equal to one. Now here I can see that uh, location and size are removed from this original data frame, right? So I hope you are understanding it. So if I do a quick revision, I can see I can say that in iLock, first of all you have to define the rows. As I want to remove all the rows of a particular column, that's why it will be a single colon. But I want to remove second and third column, that's why I have defined from two to four. Four will not be considered. Now we are going to see the fourth method. So fourth method is using prop function with df dot log, right? And in this log, so what is the difference between i log and log? Let's see. So we have to define df dot drop, and it will take df dot log. Then it is same as i log. So all the rows. But you have to define the column name. So instead of the index, you have to define the column names, and all the columns between those columns will be drop. So let's take it availability and society. So all the columns between these columns will be removed. So availability and society. Dot columns you have to define because I want to consider this list as columns. Comma axis is equal to one. Let's run it. And I'm getting an error because I did a simple mistake. Is that instead of defining a colon, I defined a comma because all the columns between these columns will be removed. So instead of comma, I have to define a colon. So let's run it. And I can see that availability, then size, then location and society. All the four columns are removed, right? So not only the columns lying between these columns, but including these two columns will be removed, right? I hope you are understanding it till now. Now let's see the last method, that is the fifth method, that is using del and for loop and for loop. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to run a for loop. Which will iterate over all the columns. So for call in df dot columns and if you have to define the column name. So let's take it. Let's take it size. So if size in call del. df at call. So what is happening over here? I am iterating over all the columns, and if I am finding this size column, I want to delete that column. So let's run it. So nothing will happen. Why? Because I am not printing anything, right? So I have to print df after this. Let's run it, and I can see that size column is removed. And here you will notice that. The changes has come to my original data frame only. Uh, in the previous section, I was seeing that size was present in my original data frame, but now I can see that size is not there in my original data frame. So that means that this last method changes your original data frame. So I hope you like this video, and I hope that you got to know something about dropping the columns. So if you want to give us any suggestions or feedback, you can do that in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video.